Uh, this is my uh, colloidal silver generator. I uh, just I've got my mag magster um, finished, and I gotta adjust the little holes because it's I'm um, using 12 gauge or 10 gauge. I can't remember, and it's still the holes are too big. Okay, um, what we're doing here is we're using 555A stable uh, timer to drive signals at roughly at one, two, three, or about three seconds, three and a half seconds, four seconds uh, um, timer. You can see that the timing is switching on and off, on and off from the blue and the red LEDs. Um, this this is uh, setting the signal to my uh, double pull, double throw relay, and that is switching the and uh, that is set up so it reverses the polarity. So if you look, we're getting plus 1.5, negative 1.5 milliamp. I've got it set up for small milliamp right now. We'll do some testing on this and see how it runs. But uh, every three and a half, four seconds, and you can change that timing from your um, the uh, capacitors and the uh, resistors that you're using. Then I'm uh, feeding my uh, my relay the power uh, from my constant current module and these modules you can find on eBay all over the place there's tons of them and right now I've got it set you can see the little red light that is the little red light on there that tells you that it's constant current uh, regulating and uh, we've got it set at 1.5 approximately millivolt a milliamp and then running up to our our uh, our silver rods and uh, magnetic stir it's kind of fast I like to have it go slow yeah slow is good this guy's also uh, I may go with this uh, uh, circuitry using uh, an op amp and along with the um, with the op at uh, to provide constant current and then and then provide that to the uh, relay and then out to the rods but we'll see what happens uh... this is still new in the game so I gotta work out some little bugs but it, it's working right now just uh... gotta make it as mo as efficient as i can okay signing off